Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a haul and it is a fairly big one. I have got a heck of a lot of colouring books to show you. I haven't done one for a few months and I had a birthday and I had for my birthday I had vouchers from work um, and money from my mum so I was able to buy a few things. So I do have a few supplies so we'll do those first. So the first thing is I do have the uh, 50 Aquamarkers by, De Aquamarkers by Deco Time. These are from somewhere like B&M Bargains. This one was B&M. Uh, they were 20 quid for the 50. I have taken them out. That's just the empty box because I've been using them. And actually there is one missing because I've lost the bread. Um, so it's around somewhere. They're really nice actually. I like the way they colour. I saw on Emma Colours channel these, the Colorista. By Spectrum Noir pencils, so I have got that. Those um, they work at I think it was something like 11 pounds for the four sets, so it's not not that expensive. They're all right. They're not okay. They're not prism colours, but they 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 do a job, and they're quite nice to use. There's some nice colours in there. So I have been colouring with those, and once I finally finish the picture I'm using doing on them, I'll I'll show it to you. Obviously, my brother bought me um, a colouring book for my birthday which you will see in a minute but he also sent me these um Faber Castell black edition felt tip pens this is the 10 set there is a 20 set these are stunning for patterns they absolutely are gorgeous I love them so I've been using all the supplies now onto the colouring books now these aren't in any order so you will see things like my colouring heavens out of order because they're just all mixed up so um, and I just do. So obviously the latest one I think is, well it's not the latest one is it? I don't know anymore. I've lost the plot with Curry in Heaven. There's so many of them. I've got the Garden Gnome special. This is obviously um, pictures from Ava Brown which are really cute. I did a flip through this. As I said I've probably got some of these in some of the Ava Brown books I've got and if I have then it just means that Jennifer can colour in it. I don't mind at all. So there's that one. Now as you know uh, Jade Summer have been uh, putting out some new books again which I'm really pleased about because I love Jade Summer. So the first one again you saw this last month because I did do a picture in it is Amazing Dogs current book so they're all Zen Doodly and like, normally I wouldn't like something like this but I thought you know what, it's a bit of fun so why not. Uh, then they put out elegant patterns. I'm currently carrying one in here. I love pattern books, as you know. Um, there's the dogs one. And these patterns are really nice. That's a nice one. Um, nice and easy for Jade Summer. So, that one. Put that to one side because I've got one half finished in there. Uh, Fairy Homes adult colouring book. Again, this is Jade Summer one. I haven't coloured this one yet, but uh, I will be doing so soon. All sorts of different fairy homes. They're really, really cute, actually. So I need to do one in here soon. I'm sure there's another one somewhere. In fact, I know there's another one somewhere. Uh, we'll find it later. <laughs> um, Creative Haven Witchcraft by Jessica Mazakovich. Oh, I like anything witchcraft related, as you know. I like I like this picture. The gems. It's just a really nice book. So there's another one of her Creative Haven. Hmm. Got a few relaxed with arts here, I think, but this is issue 107. Um, I pick them up if I'm in Tesco and they got them. They've always got patterns in them, pictures. It's really nice. Just to pick up. I think I have, you know. That's a good one. I mean, I do colour a lot, but I've got a lot of books I haven't coloured in, which I must kind of stop doing. Then I've got the holiday special, uh, issue 50 for the holiday specials. And this is Angels, Fairies and Unicorns. So we've changed the cover and they made it all shiny on this one. Um, again, I haven't coloured anything in it, but they are really nice pictures. So... I'll try. Oh, I love that unicorn. I might do that one this month if I can. Another one. So, ah, now here's the one that my brother got me for my birthday. It's Disney Vintage Poster Collection. Uh, over 65 classic colours, uh, posters to colour. Now they are double sided. 
Jennifer wanted this. As soon as she saw it, she tried to grab it off me. I'm like, no, it was a birthday present. You can't have it. So she threw a tantrum. But yeah, I quite like these. So yeah. Like I said, I love the Disney films, especially the old ones, but I'm not a huge Disney fanatic like a lot of colourists are, but I do like certain things. Another re Relax With Art one. Let me just grab this one. This one's 106. Like I said, I am so far behind colouring in all of these books. That's a nice one. But I do, in oh look, Egyptian. I do insist on getting them. sort them out afterwards and I've got a few pdfs I think it's two of mindful mandalas by colouring heaven um yeah it's two of them so let me just uh oh where's the front so the first one I've got here is uh something patterns and I don't know where the cover's gone for the next one but uh there's two of them um it seems to be a bit mixed up and then I, I can't remember what it, the other one's called but there's two of them there oh hang on here's some more bits of it <laughs> I'll have to have a look through that later <clears throat> uh, Fantasy Kingdom Special uh, which is uh, Chris Otega very nice again I haven't coloured it <laughs> but they are really nice pictures they're very detailed it's going to be a pencil job I think Looking at it, there you go. I got, and I saw this, my friend wanted it as well, a Squishmallow colouring book. Yes, Squishmallow, yeah, yeah. Just because they are so adorable. I got one for Jennifer as well, so Jennifer has got this one. But I can see this just being a nice easy one just to do with markers. It's really for kids, but it's just so cute. Look at them. And I just think it's adorable, so I thought I've got to get that. And I've got um, some pattern books. Colour Art, the Garden Collection. These are ones that you get in the UK in supermarkets and places like that. Paper's not bad. Mandalas, patterns, various garden things. And then I've got the Zen colouring one again from the supermarket. And this one is Tranquil Collection. So it's mostly patterns. Well, I don't mind those. Sometimes it's just... Nice to get a, a marker or a gel pen and just colour these patterns in. They are single sided so you can use your markers if you really wanted to. Uh, back to Colour in Heaven, this is the latest one. Grimm's Fairy Tales by Naliki Shoemaker. These are really nice but again I haven't coloured in them but I really do want to just a matter of getting around to it because <clears throat> that's done in that one so yeah they are really nice it is a really nice book sleeping beauty is pretty i like that one yeah. ah this is the latest jade summer one which is a mandala's coloring book again i haven't colored in this one yet so these are quite small mandalas, but they're really nice, really detailed. Nice for gel pens and pencils, um, fine liners. But yeah, so that's the newest Jade Summer book. I'm waiting to see what they put out next. I think they might be putting out a sweary book. I don't do sweary books. Um, it's not. I think it's a good idea when you've got a small child around the house. Now, Littles has loads of have had loads of coloring books lately. So in fact, I've got eight from Liddles. I'll show you the first ones first, which are... The first I got were these ones by Crilando. So we've got, again, mandalas. And yeah, they are double-sided, but you can use your water-based markers and stuff like that. That's not a problem. And then Enchanted Forests and Magical Nature. So again, this is going to be all unicorns and I just have some some doodly stuff. That's quite a nice one. That's a lovely unicorn. As you can see, some dragons. Yeah. Then dream designs. Again, this is a 
they do come out so it's probably falling apart already yeah but that doesn't matter because I always put them in a folder and this is just literally just patterns and you know I love patterns but they're quite detailed so yeah that is coming apart but that's okay because like I said I can put it in a folder and then simply relaxed was the fourth one of this set there's so I said there were four in the set Uh, really nice and then last week they got some more books in so I got four of them I actually got three for my friend and four for myself because I thought she wouldn't be interested in one of them but she wanted the other three so tattoos so this is one of the ones I got my friend so they're just it's double sided unfortunately but the paper is quite nice so it'd be alright for pencils and maybe even watercolours I, I might try it like that one so that's that one and then there was something called get out there a coloring book to inspire new adventures um it's not what i thought it was going to be it's mostly words and stuff like that but it's okay it's not too bad very zen doodly but a bit of fun i wouldn't like that one because of the circles the page how and that one and those two with my trypophobia but there you go well, i'll manage somehow now the, the last two that I'm going to show you from that set I got her as well and it's Colour the Tarot I have got other tarot books as well but you know these were $1.99 so I mean I know that they're double sided but the paper's nice I like that one so I thought why not the paper's really nice in these books because they're only $1.99 it's better paper than Amazon use and Stranger Things, the unofficial colouring book. Now, I've only seen a couple of episodes of Stranger Things, but my friend Alice is a huge fan, so I, this is one of the ones I've got her, but uh, I'm sure I can manage to figure out how to colour it. It's really cool. Some really good pictures in it, actually. Right, we've got another four books. Like I said, there was a lot of books this month. First one is Tropic Goth by Carla Magana. You can't not get a Carla Magana book. I don't get them as soon as they come out, but I do like to get them when I can. So um, anybody wants to buddy colour with me in this one, I'd love to do one next month. Or this month, whatever month you want. Shall we do one in here? Chelsea? I finally got it, so shall we do one? I like that one. I really like that one, it's cute. And then I got uh, Swirling, 50 Swirling Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. I love her books. I have so many I haven't got, but I thought I'd get the Swirling Mandala ones because they're pretty cool. My battery's going to go in a minute. I got Matchstick Mouse, so the summer colouring book. So I've only got a couple of these, but I got this summer one. And I just think they're really sweet. Absolutely gorgeous little pictures. Oh look at that, that's so cute, I love it. And finally the last one I got was April Amber Chibi Girls Funtime Park, which I haven't, didn't have, so. There's still a few of hers I haven't got, but uh, I really like this one with the, the fun fair. And again, this has got two sets of pictures in it, so, because Jennifer likes this one. My plan is to do the one set and then she can have all the others. So that's a big haul for me because I'm not doing them every month I probably won't do one at the end of August so as far as I know other than my colour in heaven and relax a lot I've only got one book coming that's coming today because it was a pre-order um what book should we colour in what do you want to see me colour in um because I don't mind if you let me know um down in the comments uh, have you got any of these books which ones should we buddy colour in you let me know and we'll do it and I'll see you in the next video bye everybody